Now at four, your community focus. We are talking once again COVID-19 today with Dr. Jim McDonald from the Rhode Island Department of Health. He joins us here every week on 12 News Now at four. Dr. M, thanks for being here. Hey, good afternoon. Great to be with you again this afternoon. We are happy to have you. Dr. M, the most common question that we're getting these days is about vaccines. And we know the CDC has recommended that adults 65 and over should be getting vaccinated as soon as possible, but Rhode Island isn't doing that yet. I know the folks at the Department of Health, Health have explained why, but can you remind us once again why this is? Yeah, so we would love to vaccine everybody over 65, you know, just so you know. Everyone's important to us in Rhode Island, but why people are 65 and older are particularly important for the vaccine is higher risk of either ending up in the hospital or having an outcome where they pass away. We would love to do it. We simply just don't have the vaccine. But let's talk about the two big things we're trying to do. Keep in mind, we all want the same thing. We want to reduce deaths. We want to keep people in the hospital. We also want to have a healthy workforce for our hospitals, right? So we're vaccinating as many high-risk people as we can, nursing homes. We just started assisted living. We're doing other people in high-density communities. But we also have to do the healthcare workers. If we do get sick, and some of us are going to get sick, we need the healthcare workers, whether it's someone who works in the hospital as a nurse or the guy in dietary. Because if you don't have the dietary people in the hospital, people get hungry kind of quickly. Dr. McDonald, we are also hearing how the vaccine rollout seems to be different in different states. Do you anticipate a more broad federal guidance for this under the Biden administration? I do. I think you're going to see a little bit different approach from the Biden administration. I think the CDC is going to be a little bit more empowered to say what they need to say. And I think you're going to see a little more of this partnership. I think you're also going to see a little more local control. Like one of the things that's an example is you're going to see more vaccine rollout quickly and then the states will decide how to do that second dose how many to give and, and what the interval can be. So I think that's just an example of some of that. And I think you're gonna also see vaccine production, I anticipate it's gonna get a little bit better. I think they're gonna see more of that partnership with the companies that are making it and, and just helping us get more available sooner. So I'm optimistic things are gonna get better in the next few weeks. We always appreciate your optimism, by the <laughs> way, every week. Um, you know, obviously you're very well plugged into the medical world. Any perspective you can offer us on how Rhode Island compares right now to other states with that balancing act, keeping a lid on the virus, also focusing on vaccine distribution? Yeah, so we're heading in the right direction, folks. And I think, think about it this way. The cases are coming down. The number of people in the hospital are coming down. Those are good things. One of the things I'm excited about is we're really leading the country in treatment, though. We've got the intravenous monoclonal antibody treatment. We just jumped on that sooner, folks, so we're way ahead of schedule. You're not in a lottery to get treatment here. If you qualify, we take care of you. So I think that's another big plus for us. As far as vaccine rollout goes, it's moving really quickly. One of the things I see when you look at the states doing it, we're in one of the top states per capita getting it out there. And I think that's something to be happy about, my friends. And I think we're heading in the right direction. One of the things I want to keep in mind, though, is demand for the vaccine is really, really high. I would rather focus for your own mental health, my friends, is not focus on what you can't get right now and be upset you're not getting the vaccine. Rather, perhaps be a little bit like me, thankful that, oh, my gosh, we have vaccines that are safe and effective. And I think that thankful mindset is going to be better for your overall mental well-being as you navigate the next few months, because we're going to all get it, guys. There's going to be plenty eventually, so just hang on, and we'll do it okay. That is exactly what the happiness professor yes. was just saying in our last segment. Hold on to that thankful mindset. And you were mentioning, Dr. M, how our trends are sort of heading in the right direction. But the CDC put out an awfully grim forecast saying more than 90,000 Americans could die from COVID in the next three weeks. Rhode Island's death toll now approaching 2,000. But again, our data seems to be trending in a good direction, a better direction. So are we in a different place from the rest of the country right now? Yeah, you know, keep in mind, the CDC talks about every part of the United States from the Northern Marianas to Northern Maine. And, you know, I, on the other hand, worry about Westerly to Woonsocket, okay? And we are heading in a different direction right now. I hope we stay that momentum here. And, you know, part of what I think that's about, we did the pause, and the holiday surge was really small. I mean, we did pretty well. I'm actually a little worried about the next holiday. There's a holiday coming up in February. I'm not talking about Groundhog's Day, though. It's the Super Bowl. So February 7th is the Super Bowl. So I'm going to give you a little heads up, folks, for your Super Bowl plans. I don't want to see large pizzas being ordered. It's a small party, just the people in your own household. That's what we're doing. Shoot, we usually have 30 people in the house, a lot of food. It's great. But this year, it's just the McDonald's Five. And I'm just saying to folks, if you could please do that, keep the Super Bowl party small. Eliminate those gatherings from folks outside your household. You'll help us stay in the right path. Dr. M, thanks so much for that great advice as always. We appreciate you being here today.
Thank you, guys. Have a good rest of your Thursday. You too. Thank you. We'll focus on those individual pizzas. Yeah.